Because remember, with Shumadi, we built uh, Shremchitsa. We built Pinyes. We, you know, thanks to me, me taking over Shumadia, started a building campaign because I said to Milosevic, I said, look, we've got no bloody money. This is a cooperative. We need money. So the first money came from Mihailovic at Gusaba. They wrote me a 16 page letter as to where their apartments were. I replied to them in one sentence. Can't get away to marry you today because my wife won't let me. So he didn't know what the hell that meant. And he sent a messenger, said, can we have a meeting? So and that's what brought their attention. 16 page letter. By the time I'd read it, I would have grown a beard. You know, so <laughs> we started. He paid us 50,000 dinars, which was then one to one, thanks to Avramovich, uh, you know, the governor of the National Bank of Yugoslavia. Dragoslavia was my very, very, very good friend. We, we, a lot of the, you need to remember that a lot of the policies, the Council of Europe with Jovanovic was done by me. I'm the one that, you know, and I was following Zelko's policy uh, uh, dictate. The policy was we want to be with the West. We don't want to be. Yes, we do want our Russian brothers and that. But we, you know, if it comes to investment and that, we prefer the West. And that was the policy under a NATO umbrella, under the Council of Europe, you could go without visas to certain countries. And that's the, the application was done by me and Vlasiv Jovanovic. You know, you know, he's, he's a great, great uh, guy. Yeah, and he still <laughs> he still uh, comes to uh, our production, and we make interviews with him. He uh, he has a special place in the uh, history uh, of uh, that era because uh, he was doing the best he could in under those conditions. Well, he had my help. I mean, just to give you an idea, uh, Avramovich didn't have the Bankers' Almanac because the sanctions bit and he couldn't get the Bankers' Almanac. So I went to London, bought the book, you know, £600, and brought it. And that's how he established his swift links. You know, it's crazy if you think about it, but that's how we did it. Remember, I could travel freely. I could travel with my Serbian passport to Iraq without visa to certain countries. Another thing what we devised with Slobov, I said to Milosevic one day, I said, look, there's a number of countries that are under sanctions. Why don't we have a consortium of... So I went to the Myanmar Republic to meet General Than Shuo of the Myanmar Republic, Libya. We went all the different countries, you know, and Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, and we all became part of a pact of countries under sanctions trading with each other. To me, that was a good idea. And it's now obviously being promoted by other people as well uh, there. But they were the policies. And when there were the elections in 1995, I wrote the Stranka Subsky Yedinsva's policy document, which the European Union paid us, I think, eight million German marks as it won then to participate in the free elections, which, 